surpassing Japan and Germany. Achieving this proud milestone will be the best way to celebrate the 80th anniversary of our independence. Irrespective of the volatile times globally, India remains the brightest beacon of hope for the world. With its rich cultural heritage, empowered population, surging economic power, and age-old advocacy of peace, our nation will play a pivotal role in changing the world for the better. Friends, Reliance is truly blessed to make a humble contribution but crucial contribution to creating a better India and a better world. All our businesses continue to be key drivers of the Indian economy. I personally believe that Reliance has become a success story because we have grown with a purpose. We are not in the business of pursuing short-term profit and holding wealth. We are in the business of creating wealth for India and enhancing the quality of life of every Indian every single day. We are in the business of providing highest quality products and services that improve efficiency, productivity and ease of living for Indian consumers. We are on a mission to provide energy security to our nation. We are on a larger mission to make the world cleaner and greener for our future generations. We do all this because reliance is driven by a purpose firmly rooted in our we care philosophy. This philosophy of doing business with a broader and noble purpose is instilled in all of us by our founder chairman, Sri Dhirubhai Ambani. Esteemed shareholders, our founder firmly believed that you are the backbone of Reliance and that you deserve a substantial reward from time to time as your company grows from strength to strength. I have supreme confidence in the robust performance and the bright future growth prospects of all our businesses. Based on this confidence, I would like to share some good news with you today. At 1.45 p.m. today, Reliance Industries Limited has sent a notice to the stock exchanges that the board of directors will meet on the 5th September to consider issuing bonus shares in the ratio of 1 is to 1. When Reliance grows, we reward our shareholders handsomely. And when our shareholders are rewarded handsomely, Reliance grows faster and creates more value. This virtuous cycle has been the guarantor of your company's perpetual progress. Dear shareholders, as I told you last year, Reliance has now become a net producer of technology. Breakthrough technologies and innovation have always been the greatest wealth creators for nations as well as for corporates. Reliance internalized this Vikas Mantra at every stage of its growth. In recent years, this mantra is transforming Reliance into a deep tech company with advanced manufacturing capabilities in three seminal ways. First, we are embedding innovative technologies in every single business to generate ever greater value for our customers. Second, our talented engineers and scientists are incubating several critical technological innovations in-house to enhance our product and service offerings. Third, we have built an AI-native digital infrastructure for all Reliance businesses and have built our software stack integrating end-to-end -end workflows and real-time dashboards. With the success of our Atmanirbhar efforts, we are accelerating India's transformation into a deep tech nation. Reliance spent over 3,643 crores in the financial year 24 towards R&D, taking our spend on research to over 11,000 crores in the last four years alone. We have more than 1,000 scientists and researchers working on critical research projects across all our businesses. I feel proud to inform you that last year, Reliance filed 
over 2,555 patents, mainly in the areas of bioenergy innovations, solar and other green energy sources, and high-value chemicals. Digital is another principal area of our in-house research. We have filed patents in 6G, 5G, AI large language models, AI deep learning, big data, devices, Internet of Things, and narrowband IoT. I assure you that this ongoing tech-driven transformation of Reliance will propel your company into a new orbit of hyper-growth and multiply its value for years to come. Our future is far brighter than our past. For example, Reliance took over two decades to be amongst the top 500 companies globally. In the following two decades, saw us joining the league of the world's top 50 most valuable companies. With our strategic adoption of deep tech and advanced manufacturing, I can clearly see Reliance earning a place in the top 30 league in the near future. Dear shareholders, let me begin by reporting to you the financial performance of Reliance for the year 23-24. Reliance Industries posted a record consolidated turnover of 10 lakh 122 crores in the financial year 24, becoming India's first company ever to cross the rupees 10 lakh crore mark in annual revenues. Reliance's EBITDA was rupees 1,78,677 crores, while the net profit was rupees 79,020 crores. Reliance's exports were rupees 2,99,832 crores, accounting for 8.2% of India's total merchandise export. Reliance invested cumulatively over 5.28 lakh crores in the last three years. Reliance remained the single largest contributor to the National Exchequer, contributing 1,86,440 crores through various taxes and duty in the financial year 23-24. In the last three years, Reliance's contribution to the Exchequer crossed rupees 5.5 lakh crores, the highest by any Indian corporate. Reliance also expanded its social impact with a 25% increase in its annual CSR spending to rupees 1,592 crores. With this, Reliance's total CSR spend for the last three years crossed rupees 4,000 crores, the largest among all Indian corporates. Reliance continues to be ranked as India's best employer by several external agencies. I am happy to state that Reliance continues to be amongst the largest employers in India. The nature of employment creation is changing globally, primarily due to technological interventions and flexible business models. Therefore, rather than just 